Hey guys, what's going on? It's Baron here, Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent. Today we're going to be doing like an informational video. It's sort of like speculations and what we think could be coming and what we've seen and what evidence we have. So, really, I'm just going to be doing a lap around the, the actual island itself, Gollum Island. You can go there and you can discover it as a province. You can actually use your drone and you can obviously start um, discovering locations like I'm doing right now. This isn't the best sort of footage that I've got right now. There are other footage like videos out there that have got a lot of detail in it where they're going into the actual island, they're showing you locations, they're showing you enemies. So I'm gonna link one down in the description um, by ASQD Gaming. Go, so you can go check that out if you want. But this is sort of my take on it and a few things that I've seen. So if you've seen, um, IGN actually put out a trailer on the actual raid so it was just sort of like alpha footage that we've seen and we have seen an actual drone dropping in a behemoth with sam missile so it looks like it's going to be a little bit difficult to get to with helicopters um getting there I, i'm not too sure because you will be able to actually spawn there with the bivouacs because there's three initial bivouacs that we can see and it looks like some of them aren't well three of them <sighs> They're not really accessible by vehicles. There may be one or two that are actually on the island because there's one out in the water that isn't accessible by vehicle. It could be accessible by boat, pretty much. And the two on the inside of the island, maybe you could spawn a motorbike in. I don't think they're gonna let us go around the island just by purely walking. I don't think that would be a thing that they would do. So, with this behemoth that we've seen, Maybe it could be actually a possible long-range SAM missile, so it's going to make it a little difficult to get in. But you can fly high enough to get over it. There are a few points of interest that you may have seen during this video. Like I said, there is another video where he actually goes through the points of interest with you and the bivouacs. Um, but if you do go over the red line border, you will be killed by a swarm of drones. But you can go there on the edge of it with a boat or a helicopter, and you can use your drone in the passenger seat like I have been doing. Um, so we know that most of the island actually has a heavy presence of wolves. There are some sentinels getting around, but it's mostly wolves. They are going to be high level. Um, there is a chemical rig. There's um, chemical production for their weapons, um, for their drones. You've got a prototype workshop, which actually has something called the Titan drones. So these are very large. They're actually much bigger than the behemoths. And it actually looks like they have a cloaking device on them, which is pretty crazy because I, I didn't think there would be something bigger than the behemoth, but apparently it is. So it's going to be very interesting to see this. Um, if you do go to the island, there are regular helicopter um, patrols around the island so just be wary of that um, but from what I can see and what I, from what I've heard in the actual raid there's gonna be better gear like so much better gear drops so I don't know if it's gonna be level 252 or it's gonna be signature weapons elite parts blueprints uh, and so forth but we're gonna go off the speculation that it's gonna be a much better gear drop for us and having wolves there it looks like there will be quite a few um, opportunities there to get better gear for yourself um, so I'm gonna say at the end of the raid there's gonna be initial uh, prize like you know weapons gear um, and so forth so I'm gonna say that they're gonna give you a signature weapon like when you've killed the boss's walker and so forth though Having a look at it, you would think that there would be a little bit more technicality to it, like the way they've formed this island, because the way it goes around and you, the way you have a look at it, you, I don't know if it's got any sort of form to it or it's, yeah, I don't know how they're going to do the layout of this raid and the actual mission itself, because it, it sort of looks like it's a little bit all over the place. I may be wrong, I may be right, but... Yeah, if you have a look at this footage and you go around the island yourself, have a look at the video that I've mentioned and go have a look at the IGN video showcasing um, the raid entry with the vehicles and whatnot. It may be a little bit um, 
maybe a little bit difficult. So I'm going to say you might not be able to do this with one or two people. You're going to need a squad in this. And hopefully the matchmaking system in this is a little bit different. So hopefully I'm thinking that when you go for matchmaking, I don't know if you guys have done matchmaking on this, but it puts you when you're like a level 150 or more, it puts you, it puts you with someone that's pretty much a level like 10 or 20, which is kind of annoying with their gear score. So it's that, yeah, that that's something that I want to touch on because it sort of bothers me in the retrospect that if you're a higher level and they're a lower level, they're obviously going to be versing uh, enemies on your level. So yeah, hopefully they do work on the matchmaking system as well. But there are a few skill um, like sections on this map. So you've got the actual satellite, so you can, it says that it broadcasts all over the world, and there's actually like a um, a sentinel camp that Skell has there. So that's quite interesting how that comes into it. So as you can see right now, that section right there that I was um, in front of the helicopter where you got looks like a helipad, it looks like um, that's where the behemoth is going to be dropped. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. And these titans, I'm not too sure if it's a flying drone or it's a ground uh, drone. So, But when you actually watch the IGN trailer, you'll see that it gets dropped off with a drone. So I'm not too sure if that's a titan or not, but it's going to be interesting to see how they work. So that little rig off to the right, that's actually like the chemical rig where they um, produce it and then they send it on shore. So that's another thing that's going to be quite interesting. In the actual volcano itself is uh, a scandium mine. So that's going to be interesting to see. That big, tall um, structure you see in the ocean, that's a... Uh, that's a computer, quantum computer. So that's going to be interesting to see if that actually it. I think it develops. It's like a um, like a it could be like a hive mind for the drones. So that's another interesting point. There's a lot of interesting things going on around this map, which I'm quite interested in myself. So I can't wait till this comes out. It it could be out this month. It could be out around January. I'm not entirely sure, but to see it. It's going to be, I'm going to be excited. It's going to be, it's definitely going to be something worth seeing. So when it comes out, I'm going to be doing a video on it, obviously. I'm going to be going through like a walkthrough, a mission rush through. It'll be a quite a lengthy video. So hopefully you guys have a bit of time to commit to that. I will not waste your time with it. But yeah, that's pretty much been the video I wanted to put out for you today, guys. I know it might not be as detailed as you want it to be. It's, I know as much as you do. I've just applied for the Ghost Recon Delta Squadron. So I don't know if you guys have seen that, but go check that out. Um, but I've applied for videography and streamer. So they actually give me information that some people might not get. But anyway, guys, that's been Aussie Gamer Aussie Accent. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Share this with your friends to keep them up to date with the information on the actual raid. So they, they're sort of ready and they know what's going on for you guys to play. But anyway, guys, go check out the links in the description. That would be super awesome. There's merch, there's discount links, there's links for the epidemic sound that I use in my videos. But anyway, guys, that's Baron, Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.